guys, this is Apple Hunter 274 and today I'm going to share five very useful tips and tricks. I'll share five more on part two of this video and I'll post more tips and tricks on my blog whenever I find out about them. So be sure to check out applehunter274.blogspot.com to see updated information on tips and tricks and many more. The link is also in the description below. Okay, so let's get started. Spotlight search has always been a useful thing on a Mac, but sometimes I find myself wishing I didn't have to quit whatever I was doing and go click on the button. Once I found out the simple keyboard shortcut for it, it made my life eas much easier. To search, all you have to do is simply press Command Space at the same time and the search box will appear. One very nice thing that is, that is great about Max is that everything is drag and drop. After I learned this trick, I learned a new way to use the drag and drop, which made my Mac experience way better. This tip makes it easy to move files wherever you want to move it. So let's say I want to move my I icon, Apple 247's icon into preview so I can see it. I'll just take it and drag it into the preview and boom it shows up. Now let's say I wanna get an image from the internet. Let's just search Apple here. So let's say I want to put it into my Word document. So I'll just open up a new Word document. Okay, I'll go back to my Google Chrome. I just click, right click, and hold it down and drag it into Word until this shows up. You drag it in, and then it, let go of it when it has that add button. Don't let go of it when it has this little circle right here with the line through it. So just drop it in, and there it is. And let's say I had more than one document, so let's do a new document right here. And we'll get a new image, put it in. Now two of them show up, and I want this one to go in this window. So I put it over that, and I let go. So it works amazingly. And then if I want to save these images, so I'll just drag it into Finder here it'll open up and I can put it into pictures and just drop it in and it'll be there so yep that's how you use this amazing drag and drop very easy tip Five times when I'm watching a movie, the volume's never right. If I raise it up a bar, it goes too loud. If I lay, ra lower it one bar, it goes too soft. So this trick helps you get the exact, um, exact volume you want. So this simple trick, all you have to do is press Command, I mean, sorry, Option, Shift, and then press the volume button. And it'll raise the volume by only one fourth of a point. Accurately putting it at whatever volume you want. And if you let go of option shift, it'll just go back to normal. This tip is very useful if you're working on something and if you want to do a quick calculation or find out the definition of a word when you're reading a uh, article online all you have to do is open the spotlight bar by pressing command space and then let's say I want to know what 8 times 6 is so I just put in 8 and then put in the asterisk which is the multiplication symbol 
and put in 6 and it'll show me that it equals 48 and it'll work with division, addition, subtraction, any calculations you want to do. You want to do you can't do square roots or anything though. Um also you can just type in a word. So let's say I want to know what apple means. So there'll be a bar that says definition. It'll show you a little preview, but that's usually not enough. All you have to do is press enter and the entire definition and one and the origin and some example phrases, all of that will show up. So this is a very quick way to find out what a word means. So this is a very useful tip. If you're like me, you can't decide what to use as your wallpaper. Like you I I know like 10 really good wallpapers that I could have, but I just can't decide between them. So, here's a way to use all of them. Basically, the Mac will just rotate through each wallpaper at a time you set. So, let's do it. You go to system preferences and then go to desktop and screensaver. At desktop, you will see a bunch of folders. So you can create a folder. Um, let's say just create a folder and then put all your favorite wallpapers in there. Once you've created it, press the add button right here and then look for the folder you created. I've already added it so it's right here A after you add it you'll see it exactly like this so this is all my favorite photos so then you click this checkbox that says change picture and then you can set the time to every five minutes every minute every five seconds or even every day or every time you log in whatever you want to set it to there's a list of a few stuff there so and then also you can check the random order if you don't want it to be in the same order all every single time hope you guys liked the video and we'll use some of the tips from it be sure to check out part two and check out my blog and please please subscribe